Here with reactions, uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, South Carolina. Senator, I don't know about you, but, you know, when I hear we welcome the stiff competition and we're watching now hypersonic missiles that are, have nuclear capability being fired around the globe and talk of reunification with China and Chinese fighter jets flying over Taiwan airspace and Joe does nothing, uh, why, should, why should the Chinese fear Joe Biden? I don't see any reason why they would. Well, what does it matter to the people at home listening to this program if, in fact, the Chinese have developed a hypersonic missile that can deliver a nuclear weapon? It's a military game changer when it comes to uh, nuclear forces. We've allowed the Chinese to leapfrog us, and we're, in, we're going to have to do one of two things, get them to stand down. And I don't know how Joe Biden convinces anybody to stand down. And if they don't stand down, we're going to have to develop a capability to neutralize this and what up China. So when you have the Joe Biden greatest hit list, broken border, rise of terrorism, rampant inflation, you can now put on the list a uh, nuclear arms race with China, of which we're losing. Weakness breeds aggression. And I'm going to ask the, the Senate leadership, Schumer and McConnell, to brief the entire body on whether or not this story is true. If this is true, the Chinese have developed this capability, it's the biggest game changer in the last 40 years when it comes uh, to our nuclear uh, well, let's, let, let's look at this from China's point of view. They already compromised the Bidens. I'm sure if Libya knew all about Hunter's drug addiction and, and proclivity and love of, of prostitutes, I'm sure the communist Chinese know even more. So I think the family's compromised. A billion five is a lot of money with the Bank of China. But it's 78 days, Senator, since Joe Biden promised not to abandon Americans in Afghanistan. It's 65 days since he abandoned them. It's 45 days since he's ever mentioned them. You tell me, if, if the communist Chinese are watching Joe Biden abandon his own citizens after promising not to in Afghanistan, why would Joe Biden lift a finger to help Taiwan? I conclude he wouldn't. Well, if I meant, well, I think the Chinese are testing him at every corner. And every day we allow the Iranians to get more provocative without pushing back. Every day we allow Americans to be in the hands of the Taliban. Every day that Al Qaeda gets stronger. You know, the Taliban told us apparently they have no interest and will not cooperate in terms of regulating al-Qaeda's presence in Afghanistan. They basically told us to go to hell. So the Chinese are watching, the Iranians are watching, and here's what Iran's watching. Well, you know what? You blinked when it came to, uh, to Afghanistan. You turned the place over to terrorism. Um, I'm well, worried minute, that the but, uh, Iranians but, but, are going to develop Senator, a nuclear you're, capability. You're forgetting a critical point is they've already given the Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan $65 million dollars they are negotiating, they're saying right. they're businesslike and professional and negotiating aid for the Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan while we still have Americans yeah. and green card holders and allies caught behind enemy lines. Where I grew up, Senator, probably a lot different than when you grew up in a far more genteel <laughs> South Carolina. But in New York, we call that right. ransom and we call that a shakedown. Yeah. Exactly. So I think what you're going to see is you're going to see a provocative Iran. Now, I worry a lot about Israel. We, they may be left to deal with Iran by themselves because why wouldn't the Iranians try to break out and have a nuclear weapon and hold the whole world hostage? If it's true that the Chinese Communist Party has leapfrogged us in terms of nuclear technology, uh, then, then God help us all. What is Joe Biden doing? You welcome the competition? You don't say that. You tell China, stand down or you will regret this. And did he say stand down? No. He says we welcome competition. No, we do not welcome the Chinese Communist Party with a hypersonic uh, missile that can hit the American homeland and neutralize all of our defenses. I don't welcome that. With nuclear capability. Yeah. Okay. Great job, Joe. Yes. And how did the intel people not know? Senator, thank you. Appreciate you being with us.